Hey, Blessings Prayer Warriors, God bless you on this Wednesday, April 24th. Tonight we have our online refire service. I'll be doing that next part that I shared about on Sunday as we continue looking at destroying the works of the devil. Why did Jesus come to destroy the works of the devil? 7 p.m. this evening on YouTube, uh, YouTube, Facebook, and also on Church Online. So our Bible reading today is Luke chapter 19, 29 through 48. Look at verse 41 on. And, he, and as he drew near to the city, he wept over it, saying, If you had known, even you, especially in this your day, the things that make for your peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. For days will come upon you when your enemies will build embankments around you, surround you and close you in on every side and level you and your children within you to the ground and they will not leave in you one stone upon another because you did not know the time of your visitation and many Christians in our world don't know the time of their visitation that we're living in right now but we are looking up we're living in warp speed days scripture is being fulfilled amen so today we're going to pray for religious freedom. We're praying for New Hampshire. Here we go to the East Coast now. 13% evangelical Christians and Vermont 11%. And then our nation that we're praying for today is East Timor. Population of 1.5 million, 1.4 million, 2.5% evangelical Christians. Number 198 on your prayer chart. All right, precious prayer warriors, let's go ahead and pray today. Precious Father, we do thank you for this new day. We're already midweek, Lord. Lots of things going on, Father. To you be all the glory, the honor, and the praise for this day. We thank you as we say so often, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be very, very glad in it. Thank you that we come to celebrate Jesus. Thank you for these so many that join me each day, be it in the morning, afternoon, and evening, to join together for a time of praise, worship, prayer, petition, intercession, giving of thanks. We do this according to your word, for this is what your word admonishes us to do. In fact, your word says as we see the day approaching, to be more fervent, to be closer to you, to be more involved, not forsaking our times together. So I thank you for this platform. I thank you for this way that we can meet with one another. I thank you for the cold air that we've had, Lord, but yet it's so beautiful, the beautiful blue sky and the white clouds and on and on, Lord. You give rain in its season, coolness in its season, and the warmth that will be coming also, Lord. To you be all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Lord, as we begin our time of prayer, I pray, lift up the prayer cards that have come in this week. Again, Lord, we make intercession for fellow brothers and sisters. I pray for those that are hurting, those that are depressed, those that are fearful, those that are anxious, those that are struggling with their children, whatever it might be, we pray, Father, for a touch from you. I pray for those that need healing, Lord, in their bodies. And I pray that, Lord, that manifestation of healing would come. I thank you, Lord, that we're not giving up on your word. Your word is true. You said it. I believe it. That settles it. We don't always see things right away, but it's through faith and patience that we inherit the promise. So we lift up the prayer cards and we thank you for inheriting promises here today in Jesus' name. Lord, we also lift up before you our United States of America and we pray for our country, Lord. We lift up New Hampshire and Vermont, Lord. Here as we come now to the East Coast, we just thank you, Lord, that the East Coast, they might say, is not the Bible Belt, but Lord, we are seeing sparks of revival, even on the East Coast, Lord. So we pray, I pray over New Hampshire, small, small state, 
1.3 million, Vermont, 623,000. And we pray for the people there. One of the churches we'll be praying for today in our list is Revive Church there in Vermont. And we pray for their prosperity and their blessing. So, Lord, we lift up these areas. We lift up our United States of America and we pray, God, help America. I pray, Father, for revival, awakening fires throughout our land, sparks in churches, churches that are ministering to young people, to elderly people. You've made such a variety because you are a God of variety. You made many species of birds and animals and fish, insects and butterflies and on and on. And I believe that you've made churches with different flavors also, Lord. But all churches, true churches, have one, one passion, to glorify Jesus Christ and to preach the gospel. I thank you for this, Lord. So we lift up before you every church in the United States of America, every true, true church, everyone, again, that's preaching the gospel, everyone that's standing firm on, the, on, on your word, on, on the facts of your word, Lord. And I thank you. Thank you for that. We pray over our college, colleges and universities and all that we're seeing that's going on. We bind up this evil. We bind up the agitators, the ones that are looking to destroy our young people. And we pray, Father, we pray peace upon these areas in Jesus' name. Lord, again, Scripture must be fulfilled. But I believe that as we pray, we hold down evil as we get closer and closer to the day of the Lord's return. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. And to the day you come, we'll continue to pray. We pray for our young people, Lord. We pray for the scales to come off their eyes and their hearts to be open to the glorious light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We pray for our immediate young people, the ones that we know, but we pray for our entire world, Lord. Father, it's the young that, that bring up revolutions and bring up uh, change and on, but we want to see it for good in Jesus' name. We lift up our world before you and we pray for East Tamar and all that's going on in that country, Lord. So few evangelical Christians there. We pray today for the people of this nation. We pray for the people of North America, South America, Asia, Europe, Africa, and the Pacific and Antarctic. We lift up the continents of our world. We lift up the approximately 8 billion people of our world. We pray for Israel today and we pray for the peace of Jerusalem today. We pray, Almighty God, that scales would come off of people's eyes and hearts would be open, Lord, that there should not be a people that we hate. In fact, this is the apple of your eyes, so we lift them up today. We pray that during this Passover season that they'll see the blood of the Lamb and that Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God who came to take away the sins of the world. So we pray today for the Middle East. We pray for Israel. We pray for our world today, Lord. We pray for the people, and I thank you for that. We lift up today the conference that's coming up, Lord, and I thank you that people that are hungry will be there and they'll be fed in a big way, and I thank you for that. I pray for safety in the travels as our brother Dwayne, his wife, and others will be coming, Lord, from all different areas, and I thank you again that the word of God will go forth powerfully that day and the next day on Sunday. To you be the glory, the honor, and the praise, Lord. To you be the glory, the honor, and the praise. We lift up other ministries in our own church today. We lift up Revive Church. We lift up Arrow Academy. We lift up Lamb and Lion Ministries. We pray also for Power to Change, Prison Fellowship, Promise Keepers, Pulse Movement, Reach Beyond, Reach Global, Reform Evangelic, Evangelic Fellowship. We lift up different nations of our world as we pray for every state and every nation once a month. We lift up Bahrain before you, Qatar, UAE, Iran, Oman, Tusmistan, Urkbistan, 
We look at these with the highest being Bahrain of 2.5%. Evangelical Christian, all the, so many here are 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.6. 1.1, 1.1, but we know that you're doing a work. We hear of what's going on in Iran right now. We thank you for many, many being born again. To you be the glory, the honor, and the praise. We lift up Christian Faith Fellowship Church, every member, attender, yes, the staff, the elders, the deacons, the leaders, Lord, the ministry of helps, on and on. And we pray your continuous blessing upon us that we are blessed to be a blessing, that you will continue to use us, Lord, to help in any way we can. We lift up every church in our community also, Lord, that you would use them. Help us, Lord, to be a blessing, to be a blessing, Lord. That's our heart. That's our passion, Lord. We get one shot at this, Lord. I pray we're doing it right. Give us wisdom where we're not doing it right. I pray for my brothers and sisters today, your blessing upon them and their families today, your protection, your health. Beloved, I pray above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Now, Lord, as we wrap up our time of prayer, to you be all the praise, the glory, and the honor. You are worthy. You are king. You are our Lord. You are our Abba, and we love you dearly. We praise you and give you thanks for this day. This is our time of visitation, and we're not going to squander it. We're going to live knowing that we are looking up. We are living in warp speed days. Scripture is being fulfilled, and we're going to let our light shine in a dark world. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Woo! God is good. Thank you again. Mer over there. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, come. God bless. Have a great day. See you tonight online if you can join us, 7 p.m. God bless.